are we normalizing the glorification of the IRA or is it hypocrisy to speak about that when uh, you, you might sing rebel songs from a different era from the 1950s or going back to the war of independence? I think as time goes on, there is more of a glorification of, of, of the Ra and the IRA of the Ra, to use the vernacular. I, I find it kind of distasteful mm. because I think, you know, we, we forget what that 25 years was like and some of the dreadful, appalling, horrific crimes committed by the IRA during that time and it must be absolutely galling uh, to the victims of that but I suppose there's a wider discussion then when is it acceptable to sing songs about a conflict I mean we had the Limerick hurling team uh, at their homecoming we had the singing of Sean South of Gary Owen from the, uh, the which re- related to the border campaign of the of the 1950s and then if you go back further we have of course a series of rebel songs um, about the war of independence yeah. uh, and many of them are still sung so are they not acceptable as well it's a, it's a it's a tricky it's issue. a very tricky question i mean i, I think the best that can be said about about people singing up the ra now or or you know wearing t-shirts saying chucky or law or 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 whatever glorifying the the glorifying the ira violence of the last uh, of that 30 year period the best that can be said about them is that they don't remember i think a lot of the people who are doing that in the don't remember, or don't know re- yeah. don't know for example yeah. that you know the number of catholics for example you know this this the ira being the defenders of the catholic community i mean they murdered catholics as well in large numbers so we like uh, and don't know that or, or, or have forgotten that. Absolutely. But then the question is, and I have sung rebel as what so-called rebel songs myself. I, I've, I've gone along with the chorus of Sean South of, of Gary Owen, uh, you know, and I know it was sung in every bar in Limerick after the All-Ireland. You know, the argument is, are there, there, there are harmless songs about a lot of things that happened in the past? And then the question is, when in time does it become acceptable, if ever, to sing songs that glorify violence. And, and, and I don't know the answer, actually. Is it, you know, the awful events of, from the 1970s to, 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 to 20 years ago in, in the north of Ireland, uh, will it become acceptable for two or three future generations to sing that because simply it has faded in the memory and become romanticised? Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a burning question. Uh, I, I know most reasonable people, you and I included, would have a big issue with singing up the Ra now and, and with visual uh, I- images uh, glorifying recent violence. Is that just because it's recent and we remember yeah. it?